Stephen Ben Danun with Israeli News Live. Good evening. There are many things that are happening in Israel and around the world, and such stories that we want to bring to your attention. One important story that just came to light through Zion Times News was that the Obama administration, one official who spoke on the condition of anonymity, spoke about how that they were condemning the building of sukkahs, the very little houses, the little temporary houses that are built during the time of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. They were condemning the fact that so many were being built in the, in the Jewish neighborhoods in the West Bank as well as in Jerusalem. As well, they condemned the fact that they were built even in America and that there would be warnings sent out by officials saying that it was in violation of codes and code enforcement officers would give them only seven days in which to take them down. In fact, we find it that the Obama administration is trampling over the very word of God, the very, very laws that the American government, the Constitution was built upon, was upon the Jewish Bible known as the Torah. And yet here he does trample that right up underfoot, his administration, condemning one of the most holiest holidays of the year. Is it what will be next? Will the Jewish people not be allowed to even celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles because of their permits that they must have? It's only absurd to even think what could come next. And the fact that it would even be tolerated by the Israeli government for them to make such a statement without a swift rebuttal back. Sad to say the least. Also in East Jerusalem neighborhoods, violence continues to erupt there. Something that the Israeli government would prefer that is not made public in the media, but Israel's national news has already reported. Just the other night on the 17th, there were Palestinians throwing Molotov cocktails, setting Jewish homes afire and ablaze, trying to burn Jews in their home alive. Thankfully, none, no Jewish families were hurt in the incidents there. And as well, uh, automatic machine gun fire has been heard in East Jerusalem neighborhoods. They're not far from Mount Scopolis and, of course, near the old city. Situations that are definitely becoming a grave concern for the Israeli government and the effects that it could have on tourism in the country, knowing that this type of violence is taking place in Jerusalem. The biggest news, though, thus far that we see here is the case with the Ebola virus outbreak. The Ebola virus, which began in 1976 originally in Congo, finally came under control and seemed to be almost eradicated, with hardly no cases ever reported after, of course, thousands and thousands of people died. But now, the Ebola virus is once again a new strain has appeared amongst the human race of the people there. And in fact, in Liberia, Africa, it is really rampant. It has a death toll or mortality rate of 70, and even in some cases, 90% of its victims. Then, of course, the Ebola virus showed up in the United States. Several people that brought the virus in there, and it has begun to spread there, not only amongst the, the, the population, but even amongst medical workers, as it has in Liberia. In fact, in Liberia, over 100 medical workers have already contracted the virus. Now, of course, this, the grave concern that we see is the fact that President Barack Obama, according to NBC's news and the New York Times, who also carried the article, is expected to sign an executive order sending the National Guard into harm's way in Liberia to help control the virus. Just seems kind of awkward that the president would send the National Guard. The National Guard, which in most cases is known in America as the weekend warriors, not people that handle this situation full time on a full time basis. Of course, what would that do for the American public when these individuals begin to return home or as they rotate out and a new group comes in? You see, Ebola has a 42 day incubation period. And that's where the concern is. Is it a foolish part on the American government to do such an act there to put the people at risk? Because no doubt there will be many that return home infected with the virus, but it'll be too late. Because after 42 days, only then will they realize that the virus has been transmitted and passed. Something we should be concerned about, something we should think about. All these executive orders that are being passed in the United States what will happen next? 
Of course, they're testing people in the airports now, and the Obama, Obama administration has already signed an executive order that they can detain American citizens anywhere in the world that show any signs of illness that might be suspected as the Ebola virus. It's only a matter of time before the nation is shut down. Could the Ebola virus be the very thing that the United States uses to close this nation down to prepare for a new world order? I'm Stephen Ben-Danoon with Israeli News Live. Good evening.